What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to increase your performance when playing Morto. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions, then leave a comment and let me know. So first of all, we will go over the best video settings to ensure a great performance with little to no visual quality loss. This is only possible if your PC has decent components. If not, then you will have to sacrifice some visual quality. First of all, Leave the game's resolution to your native monitor resolution. If the game is unplayable with this resolution, then lower it one by one to see which one works best for you. The resolution scale will change the render resolution, and blur some textures if it's set below 1. I suggest you to try a value around 0.9. Next, set the window mode to full screen, frame rate limit to your monitor's refresh rate, or a bit higher. In my case that would be 60, but if you're playing on a 144Hz monitor, then set it to 144. In your graphic settings, turn anti-aliasing off, texture and effects quality to medium, shadows to low, and I like to keep my view distance on ultra, and most of the other settings on medium. Again, most of these settings will depend on your system's components. After applying your changes, there are a few other tweaks you can do in order to increase the game's performance. Leave the game open, and open up your task manager. Here. On the Processes tab, right-click the Mortal process and select to go to Details. On the Details tab, the process should be highlighted. Right-click it and change the process priority to High. You can now close your Task Manager and the game. Search for Capture to open up your capture settings. On this window, select to turn off the background capture while playing the game. Lastly, right-click your desktop to open up your Nvidia Control Panel. You can also do the same tweak with the AMD driver suit. Navigate to Manage 3D Settings and then Program Settings. Here, select Add and then Mortal. Back in your 3D settings, set the maximum pre-rendered frame setting to 1 and apply your changes. You can now close this window. If you want to see your FPS in the game, then open up Steam, navigate to Settings, In-Game and here you can enable the FPS counter if you want to. And as always, make sure that your operating system and graphics drivers are up to date to get the most out of your system. I hope this helped you out, leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.